let's go on on to the better management. So how do you, the DBA work with the product? How do they have a good user experience in terms of the life cycle? Um, there's a lot of stuff here, right? We really want to help to, to help people have a manageable system. The first thing is partitioning. Partitioning has been out in Greenplum for, for a long time. Postgres also introduced partitioning actually after Greenplum. Greenplum 7 aligns these two technologies together. It's all backwards compatible. There's the customer won't, the users won't know the difference that, that it's all aligned, but there are benefits. The benefits are especially around this um, locking that you can do more easy partition management with this new locking scheme. And also it helps the optimizer. It can do more advanced types of partition elimination um, based on this new technology. So I won't say too much on this, but it's part of the core infrastructure of GP7. When it comes to statistics, which are something that needs to be managed, not only now we can do um, single statistics at the column level, but we can do statistics at the multi-column level. So if you have car, make and model that are correlated, we can track correlated statistics. We have improved the on the compressed data, the analyzed algorithm, so that it can be faster to do the sampling. And we're introducing auto vacuum and auto analyze to, to make it so that you can just leave it running and trouble free have it being updating both for the data in the catalog and and keep you keep your your metadata up to date and keep the catalog clean automatically so this is just part of the well rounding capability well, and then well, when it comes to um, primary keys we've got um, now uniformly we can do unique and primary key constraints on compressed tables which helps to in to maintain um, uniqueness. It's a very database uh, specific kind of a feature where you've got primary keys and you wanna do it on your big data. So this is really part of making Greenplum a proper fully functioning relational database um, that can handle all the use cases. And it's really good here. Um, you could see when, um, if you had, for example, a personnel table or a anything with a unique value, right? Um, Let's keep moving for a sake of time. Um, this one's good. So, Frank, do you want to talk about this one? Yes. Yeah, so, again, we can acknowledge, Ivan, then uh, a lot of customers, they were complaining about the complexity of management with Greenplum. So, you mentioned a, a lot of uh, good functionality. You, you, we were talking about partitioning. We were talking also about primary key for uh, append-only table. So, I, I can think about a British customer. It was top priority. And not the same because you know in green plan you have the polymorphic storage so you can have a, a row oriented uh, uh, table you can have a, a columnar uh, table but now we are going to simplify the way you can change the orientation so you don't have to go through a different table and i think this is also a great benefit for the manageability of the platform right and how does it this how does this work with the views so if i alter the table and change it it, let's say from non-compressed to compressed and I had a thousand views on the table. No impact. Right, so, all the views stay just in place. So in one command, you can switch it over. And you can also, another thing we didn't show in this slide is you can also resort the data with alter tables. So let's say you're running out of space. The compression algorithm can be more efficient if you resort your data because resorting will make it more compact. So with alter table and GP7, you can also resort the data in the alter table and make it um, so if you're sitting there running out of space, you go and do alter table, repack it down into smaller footprint, and you could just save space, which basically saves you money. And you can change the compression also. Change the compression. Can change the compression. So you could go back over time and really just make your data denser, more consolidated to, to make it more efficient and how it uses the disk. Um, looking at um, the command center, this is your single pane of glass to manage the system. It's come along, you know, miles and miles from, from back in the day when it was first created. And um, it now includes a whole suite of features from workload management rules, which allow you to set policies on the system, to um, recommendation engine that can help you with maintenance operations, to live query execution viewing alerts and notifications user consumption reporting for chargebacks so this this is really your your single pane of glass to to manage the environment uh, just um ivan and the audience you notice we put a, a commercial uh, um logo on the top right, right? you want yes. to explain what that means yes please do 
Okay, yeah, no, that just means it's part of the VMware product. Um, and just for your reference, VMware just has one offering, which is VMware Greenplum. So when you when you buy that, you get support and all the commercial features. The main Greenplum DB is open source, and then these commercial features are the VMware add-ons that make for the VMware Greenplum. So this this um, command center is part of that. Um, also part of that is our one of the very um, highly requested capabilities that is now available with GP7, which is the multi-data center replication, also known as disaster recovery. So we now have a disaster recovery solution based on write ahead logs that can automatically archive your data as you're updating it in real time and replicate it to a second data center, keep that second data center up to date. And then in the event that the primary data center has an issue, you can do a cutover, make that the, the, the second data center your primary. And then if the primary comes back up, when it comes back up, convert that back either into the secondary or fall back you know, either way. So this is a proper um, DR solution that you'd think of from a smaller scale relational database, but now running on massively parallel scale um, type of a system. Uh, Ivan, yeah. just on the slide, because we didn't mention, but we yeah. rename also master to coordinator. Right. So I think this is something important for Green Plum 7 customer. Right. And something to notice uh, as well is that uh, this, uh, uh, DR solution is also available for Greenplum 6 customer. Right. This one was something we were able to backport. So this will be this is available now for both 6 and 7. This one. And we should mention when things are available for 6 and 7, the command center, we have a, a version for version 6 as well. But obviously version 7 is the newest and has all, all the latest things. Um, going forward, um, again, with the commercial components when it comes to manageability, and obviously manageability is a great area for us to add commercial um, enterprise add-on features is the the virtualization so greenplum is a multi-platform solution it's one of the things that makes it unique when you look at the data warehouse market and you look at the reports of the industry there's a lot of products that are either a um, a specific running in a specific cloud environment or they're running in a specific appliance form factor Greenplum is really one of the only data warehouses on the market that can run pretty much anywhere where a Linux environment can be created. And that's truly, truly, truly unique, right? And it's connected to the fact that we're open source and it's connected to the fact that we're an open platform and that you can run it in your data center, whether it's a dark site or whether it's um, you have geo restrictions or you could, we have customers running it in Amazon or in Azure. And now here with, with virtualization and being part of VMware for such a long time, we've built a fully automated, fully professional solution for Greenplum with vSphere. And this gives you the key benefits. You separate compute and storage. You scale compute and storage independently. You can do online hardware maintenance. You get um, actually very interesting high availability features where um, you don't, we, where it's, it's very seamless. And so for those who want to take advantage of all the benefits of virtualization with Greenplum, it's a, it's a holistically smooth solution that can give you the benefits of virtualization and Greenplum together in a combined package. 